Hey, what's up YouTube? Scale Model Assassin here, and for today's build, we're going to make the Boeing 737 MAX. Gonna take the Zvezda kit, throw away the boring decals that came with it, and replace them with some pretty cool looking American Airlines decals. I use a couple pieces of tape before I putty to help keep it a little bit cleaner and keep some of that putty out of the panel lines. After I sand it off the putty though, I still need to use a razor saw to rescribe some of those panel lines. The next step, I dropped the airplane on the floor, which knocked the counterweight loose. It was rattling around on the inside. So I cut a big hole underneath the wings that's gonna be hidden and just dumped a bunch of super glue in to try to get that nose weight back in the front and to stay secure. The engine has a lot of different colored metallics all in a very small area. So I wanted to paint them all separately before I put them together. And in order to do that, I had to chop a little bit of plastic off one of the interior parts so that I could insert the little cone thingy that sticks out the back of the engine. I have no idea what it's called. Someone please let me know. Insert that after I glued everything together. I basically cut a hole to stick it in at the end. I did a lot of experimentation off to the side to try to match the American Airlines silver mica color, even throwing in some silver to the mix. In the end, this light gray and flat white mix is what I felt looked the best. One of my latest toys is this punch and die set, which I'm using to make masks for rims. Put a little tape over a plastic card, punch it out, and now I've got a circular mask as long as the item is fairly small, like these wheels. All clad aqua gloss over Tamiya paint works excellent. I love using it because it comes straight from the bottle. There's no mixing involved, unlike having to mix a lacquer thinner with some other gloss varnishes. And it's also friendly with the all clad metallic lacquers. The decals that I'm using are from Draw Decal. And while they are excellent, the ones from the tail do require a little trimming to fit just right. So I photocopied the set, cut out a paper copy, that way I could snip around, make sure I get the exact dimensions before I used it as a template to cut out the actual decal. Even after the measuring, I'd still left them a little bit large because you can always come back at the end and slice off the last little bit. I always have issues with the door decals on these airliners because it's a straight line decal being placed over a curved surface. So I usually make a strategic cut and do a little bit of overlap. The solution, of course, would be for the decal manufacturers to make a slightly curved door so that it fits perfectly on the fuselage.
From this point on in the build, I'm attaching the antenna and the horizontal stabilizers with PVA glue. It's strong enough and won't ruin the paint job when I have to do a little bit of repositioning to get them just right and aligned. PVA glue you can just wipe right off with water. So this model got third place in the civilian airliners category at my local hobby show, which I was thrilled about. In fact, it would have gotten first place if the second and first place winners did not show up. Either way, I'm still pretty thrilled with it and hope you liked the video and be sure to check out some of the other airline builds that I've done on this channel. I'll see y'all next time.